Welcome to our Tech Deep Dive. Today, we're tackling a perplexing issue that many developers encounter when deploying their applications. Our viewer is facing a challenge with Spring Security in a Grails microservice setup. Specifically, they're asking why the Spring Security service returns null when deployed as a WAR file in Tomcat 8.5. Let's explore the details of this intriguing problem. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video, cheers. Let's begin by understanding the issue with Spring Security Service returning null when deployed as a war in Tomcat 8.5. This problem arises specifically when calling microservices through the API gateway. In your configuration, you're using Grails version 3.2.2 and the Spring Security Core plugin version 3.12. It's important to ensure that these versions are compatible with Tomcat 8.5. When deploying your application, you mentioned that the security context is not being maintained across microservice calls. This can often be resolved by adjusting the security context strategy. If these adjustments do not resolve the issue, consider checking your production environment settings. Sometimes, differences between development and production can lead to unexpected behavior. Lastly, ensure that your authorization schema is secure. Review your implementation to prevent any potential vulnerabilities, especially since you're handling authorization manually. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If Spring Security Service .principal returns null in Tomcat 8.5, there's a workaround. The user extracts the username from the token in their interceptor. provided code decodes the token and retrieves the username. It works because the username is embedded in the token, which is base64 encoded. The user notes that Spring Security Service .principal and get current user still return null, indicating the issue isn't fully resolved. They welcome further explanations. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.